What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So I'm thrifting. I've got like an hour to kill, so I'm gonna hit a couple of thrift stores. Let me show you what I found so far. So $2.99 for this, it's brand new. This will probably sell for 10 in our warehouse sale. Same with this, we've got two sets here, four bucks. We'll get 10 bucks each. We got this duck phone, which the wood ones are selling for like 50 to 70. This one about 30 bucks plus shipping. Uh, it was 15 shipping, so the one that sold exactly like this was 45 bucks. And then 12 of these guys for only four bucks each. I'll put these in the warehouse sale with Christmas here. They'll sell for 10 each. Uh, so that's, uh, let me think, six six dollars profit times 12 math it, it's it's profit i'll let you do the math i'm kind of just looking for new stuff like this four bucks this is an easily a ten dollar item in the sale i'll make more than double my money on it here's another set of these you know to turn four into ten with essentially no work i take the sticker off and put it on a table i'll do that all day long this one is new and I could probably sell it for 10, but they want six and well, I've got a whole bunch of them and I've got a palette of kind of similar, different design, but similar size ones. So I'm gonna leave this one here. Here's another new item, <coughs> dropping it. It's only two bucks. I don't know if I'd get 10 for it, but I'd probably make enough for them at least doubling. What is, oh, I thought this was a pan. It's just a plastic dish. I saw the handle. That would be, I would have bought that for myself. Look here, we got another one of these. There's several of them. And $3.99 each for these. I don't know where these are coming from, but I will take every last set. A two pack here, we'll easily get 10 bucks for it. Now it's becoming a balancing act. I get stuff down on the bottom too. Got a cast iron pan here. Griswold is the only brand that I know that's good. Try to pick it up. I can't even tell what that brand is. What is this? Smith Clark. I've never heard of this brand, so I'm gonna look it up, but I'm not holding my breath. The pan wasn't worth anything. I looked this up. It's only, where is it? 99 cents, but it's not worth it. It's only one sold on eBay, and it sold for $9.90. So once you ship it, it's just not worth grabbing. So that's 128 bucks spent, which, rough guess, I'm probably going to profit about 200 bucks on, because most of those were $4 items that I'm going to turn into 10 And I'm pretty confident that those will all sell for 10 with the exception of that grill paper, whatever, grill pad thing that I bought for two bucks. I don't know, it might sell for 10. Might stick around until $5 a day, I have no idea. Some good stuff. And then the phone was the only item for eBay, which again, I think I'll be able to get 30 plus shipping. So I'll turn, I think I've spent 3.99, so I'll turn four into about 20 bucks after shipping and fees and everything. I'm pretty happy with that. On to the next one. So we've got a whole bunch of ashtrays from Vegas casinos, a lot of defunct casinos. Surprisingly not worth it. They're two bucks each to sell them for like eight on eBay. This is kind of neat. It's only eight bucks. It's a Packers golf bag. Uh, the zippers don't really work though. If this is in better shape, I would be all over this. That radio would have been an easy hundred bucks if it had the spacers and the screws. These might have some value, six bucks. Nope, only about 15 to 20 bucks shipped. So that's a cast iron, like anvil, I think they call them for cobblers, people who do shoes. I looked it up, not really worth buying, but <clears throat> like the third listing was one of those where it's like a half naked woman holding it in front of her. I'm always amused when I see those. But I did find this, Sip by Swell, brand new. Only two bucks. That'll be an easy 10 in the sale. There were a whole bunch of new toys, but they were all $6, except for this, which was three. And 
than that for four. Both I think will do well on a $10 day. These are tempting, two bucks. I feel like, well, I'm gonna leave these here just because I've got boxes of these from that truck stop palette. But I feel like I could probably get five bucks each for these. Uh, I don't know, I'll hold off. I really had to think about it. I'll hold off on these. What do you think? It's two bucks? I bet someone will find this neat and buy it. A couple more ashtrays here. None of them are worth anything. This one's just a generic Ramada one. And this is from something Boulder City. No value. Look at this guy. I kind of like that. I might have to get him. So I always like to find like amusing trinkets like this. I don't see any great examples, but there's another ashtray. I'm not even gonna bother. That's gonna be the one that's super valuable. One of you guys will look it up and say, that was a hundred dollar ashtray. Anyway, so I like to find these and leave them at my gym in different places. I feel like this might be funny to put there. I don't know. The last one was a sexy panda. He was laying in the uh, like Titanic draw me like one of your French girls pose with his tongue out. I left that at the gym. It took them three weeks to notice it. So one thing I always look in here, clear glass sells so cheap in here. I'm always looking for the mixing bowl for a KitchenAid mixer. It's got like a threaded base. Those are usually, I don't even know what they are, used new. They're like 150 bucks. And you'll probably find it for two or three bucks in here if you can find it. It's something that would be easily missed by an employee. And it would just be clear. It would be a large bowl like this size without any printing on it. Another one that I left at the gym was a pig, but he was mooning people. That one I put right in their office, so they noticed it fairly quickly. Usually they don't notice though. I have to sneak them in and hide them somewhere. So the Sex in the City game ended up being half off, so it was only a buck fifty. That'd be nice if it sells for ten. And I had five bucks in loyalty dollars, so I only spent four dollars and ninety-three cents for all this, and I should get ten, twenty, thirty, maybe forty bucks. Now all of this stuff is gonna to need to be de-stickered and this is where two options. Number one, if we're doing something that's rather monotonous and boring and you're just kind of sitting around, kind of the work in, equivalent to sitting around watching TV at home, I'm not gonna bring this stuff home, but something like that, um, I'll have an employee sit there and just de-sticker as they're available. But another option that I'll do often is uh, one of my employees will have their kid come in and work for the day. And I'll give them little busy work like that, de-stickering things, hanging clothes, and I'll pay them 10 bucks an hour. Um, I wish I could get adults at $10 an hour, but it's easy stuff that a kid can do. They can make a little bit of money, and ultimately, it'll cost me, you know, 50 or 60 bucks for a day's work out of them. A day is in, like, five or six hours. Um, and all of that little stuff gets done. I can't imagine that will take more than an hour to de-sticker all of it. So 10 bucks it would cost me. Uh, and then I don't have to do it. Then I have literally zero effort into it because I'm thrifting because I'm trying to kill time. I had an event that I was at today, um, out of town-ish, like an hour away. And about 20 minutes from here, on my way home, I'm having dinner with my other half. And so I'm not going to drive all the way home. So I'm just trying to kill time. Why not thrift? So it's like free profit as far as time is concerned. Probably got time for just one more Goodwill and I am in, oh, you can't even see it out that window. I'm in Nina. There, there's the donation area. This is my favorite Goodwill in Northeastern Wisconsin. I always feel like I find the best stuff here. Although I don't think I'm gonna top that haul from Oshkosh, the first store. That was a lot more. I didn't even go in with a cart. When I saw the dolls, that's when I went and grabbed a cart, and then I started finding a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah. Let's see what we can find here. Boy, did I get excited when I saw that. But that is the stuff in this aisle. I will be buying this to put at the gym. It's well known that I love turkeys there, so they'll immediately know it was me. So this thing's brand new, and I thought about it for the special buy area, but for 25 on a pass, and it wasn't too long ago, this would have been a home run. It's 
brand new, but there's no box. You can see the cords neatly wrapped in there. Six bucks, it's a jar opener. I used to get like 50 to 200 bucks for these. Now, not so much. They're about 20, 25 bucks. Maybe I get 40 shipped for this, but that's gonna be bigger and costlier to ship. And that's a maybe. There's another one, used one for the same price. And you know, once upon a time, I can get decent money for that too. This is a coat hook. Look how angry he is that he's a coat hook. Hangs on the wall. I wish I could hang this up at the gym. It's too big and also I don't have the, can't really sneak in the tools to hang it up. That looks delicious. Probably tastes a little waxy though. Look, we got a big chicken here. Uh, this looks interesting. I've never, it, it's an interesting pattern. I'm gonna look it up. So there were some, it's ceramic by the way, there were some similar ones listed in the $50 range. I could not find this one though, and none were sold. It's kind of neat, but I think I'm gonna leave it behind. This might be the worst tasting cinnamon roll ever. This is kind of neat with the original box. Not worth anything though. So this is gonna be half price, it's gonna be two bucks. It's a little scuffed up. I think for two bucks it's worth grabbing though. Um, I got excited when I saw that, but they're just cheap little plastic. I have mayonnaise maybe? I feel like ketchup bottles, but blue for some reason. I'm gonna take the gamble that I can sell this for more than six. It's not worth it. I shouldn't say it's not worth anything. It's not worth a lot on eBay, about 10, 12, 15 bucks. I don't even know what Stanley and Dennis is. Not a home run, but it's going for about 15 bucks on eBay. I always look up Hallmark ornaments. Stuff like this isn't anything, but the licensed ones, the older ones, I did look up that one. It's not worth anything, or I should say it's not worth buying. The Hallmark ones, some of them can be hundreds of dollars. The licensed ones, primarily. One of these things is not like the other. I wonder if this belongs here. Someone just donated it or something. Gross. Look at all that math. Someone just went and mathed all over the back of his car. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to go get some food. And uh, that's all I have. I think I had some decent finds. Not a lot for online sales. I wasn't looking too closely. I could have been looking more things up but I'm lazy and didn't really feel like doing that right now. Um, three stores. I mean, the online stuff, what was there? One ornament going online. I probably could have sold the Friends one online too. The duck decoy. I don't remember if there's anything else. I don't know. But anyways, that's all I got. I'm going to do really well with some of this stuff in the warehouse sale at the very least. I feel like there was another eBay item. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, no sponsor in this video. I'm not doing it in every video. Just some to try and generate some cash to do some more expensive videos. Um, but if you do want to go back to some of the other sponsors and sign up for their stuff to help support the channel, every sign up for any of the sponsors that are paying me a commission, at least, uh, will help cover costs to buy some pallets from random places and share the if they're legit suppliers or not and other things that's just the first expensive video that comes to mind some of these videos are going to cost a couple thousand dollars though so i would like to not have to pay for that out of pocket because the youtube ad revenue doesn't cover a whole lot anyways i'm getting off topic hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one